Hello everyone, you are welcome to ANSYS B365 professional course. In this video, I am going to cover session 4 in which we will study about 1D beam element subjected to tensile loading. So let us start. So in this session, we are going to learn about how to solve 1D beam problem subjected to tensile load in ANSYS workbench. So let's discuss the theory behind the analysis. So we are going to perform the tensile tensile loading on this 1d beam element so the material we will we were using is structural steel and the here is the analytical solution in which we found the stress as 50.95 newton per mm square uh, which we will verify from the software itself and uh, here the deformation is we are going to get the 0.12 mm which which will be also verified uh, from the software after solution so let us start the step by step procedure to solve so let's start the step by step procedure of 1d beam analysis subjected to tensile loading so in first step you have to open the software which i have opened already and in the second step we have to select structural static structural from analysis system so here is the static structural double click on this and we will get this static structure to the project schematic and now uh, we have a step 3 in which we have to open the engineering data and check the structural or steel material is added to the material library or not so double click on this and it will be opened so here you can see the structural steel material is already selected so we not uh, we don't need to do anything so let's go back and uh, the another step which is step 4 is to click on the geometry and open design modeler so click on this right click and uh, click on new design modeler software and uh, design modeler geometry and uh, we will wait for the de design modeler to open here you can see the pro progress where it is written starting design modeler so when the design modeler will be opened here ready is written so here you can see the ready is written so let's start first of all we will select the plane which is xy plane we are going to select and right click on this and look at so that it will be uh, come in the come in front of us and now we will start with the uh, with creating geometry so we have to go to sketching select a line and draw a line from here to here you have to confirm that here H is written on the line or not H indicates the horizontal line so if H is written that means it will be horizontal so click so next we have to give the dimension to it so we will click on dimension general and click on this and click on here so after doing this you can see the H1 is here and also H1 is this is H1 also you can you can't see the name but uh, if you kill you will change the color you can see it so we have to change the dimension as 500 so it is selected already so you have to write only 500 so here you can see the dimension millimeter default dimension so now we have to go to modeling and we have to change this line to the geometry so sorry change this sketch to the line go to concept lines from a sketches click here and select the sketch and apply now here you can see the line one and generate so now it is a line we have converted this in line and you can see the one part one body and here is a yellow indication that means we need to fulfill this requirement so to fulfill this requirement we have to go to concept cross section and we have to select the circular cross section which is given in the problem statement so we will define the radius so in problem statement it is given that diameter is 50 so radius is 25 so you can click uh, click here to take it in center so now we have to go to line body and here we have to select the circular cross section same as circular cross section you can create another cross sections also which will be help to define the cross section of the line so let's go back our work in design modeler is 
done so back to ansys workbench and now we have next step in which we have to uh, double click on model which will be open which will open mechanical you can see here starting mechanical so here you can see our mechanical is opened so click on this to center you can click on hold the circular button of mouse and you can rotate it in any direction or desired direction so now we have to generate the mesh and this will be the 10th step generate mesh so you can see the mesh is generated you can uh, see by clicking on here mesh is generated this is 1d mesh so that you can see the actually how the mesh is generated but the mesh is generated you can adjust the element size from here you can take element size as b20 and generate also you can pan this model by pan tool so the mesh is generated of element 20m now we have to right click on this and insert fix support and go to vertex selector mode click here and apply now again right click insert force you have to go to vertex selector mode click here and apply here so that at this point we are going to apply force and this this is fixed so to apply force you have to change this in components and according to the coordinate system you can see the direction so we have to apply the tensile load so we have to apply in x direction the force in x direction so we have to apply one lakh newton force in x direction so one lakh newton force is written here and you can see the pointer that it is indicating tensile in nature this is model and outward force means tensile in nature inward fo force means compressive in nature so this is tensile in nature now click on right click on solution deformation total deformation again right click go to beam tools and click on beam tools and uh, the last step is to solve click on to solve it will take some time according to your strength of your graphics yes now our geometry is solved you can see the green ticks it means the solution is completed so we will see the deformation so we got the deformation 0 0.12742 and the unit is so by applying 1 lakh newton force we the model is deformed 0 0.12 m which you can simulate here and see how it is deforming so this is deforming and uh, we have to see the axial stresses which are also called direct stresses which you can see 50.96 megapascal and uh, you can verify it from the analytical solution also so we are done with the, all the procedures so now we get the results so the uh, we get the results uh, of a stresses as 1960 sorry uh, stresses as 50.95 newton per mm square and uh, deformation as 0 0.12 mm which we have verified from the software also and the analytical solution also so thank you for watching this video i will see you in the next session so till then like the video and subscribe our channel thank you for watching thank you